Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you create a new scene in a 3D Maps tour, it is associated with a map. By default, most scenes use the world map. However, you can also create your own maps from image files if desired. You can set many different map options for the default world map, however, and even import your own custom regions into maps if needed. One way to create a new custom map from a saved image file is to click the New Scene drop-down button in the Scene button group on the Home tab of the ribbon in the 3D Maps window, and then select the New Custom Map choice from the drop-down menu. Alternatively, to create a new custom map for the currently selected scene, click the scene whose map you want to change in the Tour Editor pane. Then click the Scene Options button in the Scene button group to open the Scene Options window. Then click the Change button in the Scene Options window, and click the New Custom Map choice in the Change Map Type window that then appears. In the Custom Map Options window that opens, type a name for the new custom map into the Give the Custom Map a Name field. Then click the Browse for the Background Picture button to open a dialog box that lets you select and open the image file to use for the map. After selecting that file, you can then edit the X and Y coordinates used by the map in the X and Y sections. For each axis, you can input the min, max, scale percent, and offset percent values. You can check the flip axis checkbox to flip the origin point coordinates 0, 0 on the map if needed. To swap the X and Y axis, check the Swap the X and Y axis checkbox. Alternatively, to get the best fit based on your current Excel data, click the Auto Fit button to automatically adjust the X and Y coordinate data. Clicking the Pixel Space button aligns the coordinates to the pixel's positions on the map instead. To lock the values of the current coordinates, check the Lock Current Coordinate Values checkbox. When finished, click the Apply button to apply the changes to the custom map, and then click the Done button to close the dialog box. If you need to add data from an Excel worksheet to a map, you can minimize the 3D Maps window to return to its worksheet. Then select the table or range to map in the Excel workbook. Then click the drop-down part of the 3D Map button in the Tours button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon. Then select the Add Selected Data to 3D Maps command from the button's drop-down menu to add the data to the workbook's data model. Note that you can also use the workbook's data model to manage the data for 3D Maps as well, just as you can for the PowerPivot add-in. After adding the data to the data model if needed, then restore the 3D Maps window again. Then add the fields that contain the X coordinates and the Y coordinates to the Location field in the Layer pane and use each field's adjacent dropdown to choose the X coordinate and Y coordinate data type if needed. Then continue to map the values and dates as normal. After creating the new custom 3D map, you can select it as a map type from the New Scene drop-down button in the Scene button group on the Home tab of the ribbon in the 3D Maps window. If you want to delete the custom map, you can click the Delete Custom Map button, which looks like an X, and which appears in the upper right corner of the map choice in this button's drop-down menu. These same options also appear when viewing the Change Map Type dialog box, which you can open by clicking the Change button within the Scene Options dialog box. 
Also note that you can click the Edit Custom Map button, which looks like a cog icon, in the lower right corner of the map choice within the Change Map Type dialog box to also edit the custom map if needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.